Let's see. So many updates and not enough time. But we're going to jump right into it anyway. Stick with me. Hello plant community. Thanks for tuning in this channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Pam and I have a plethora of plant updates that I want to share with you whether it be good or bad or just let you know what's actually going on what I've been experiencing with some of the plants in my collection. So I have a couple of a few specimens here and um, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to start off first with um, my begonia maculata but before I go into that I wanted to show you guys this if you watch that video I did where I did propagation of uh, my begonia rex this is the one where it was done with the leaf cuttings and water and things like that all of this you guys look at this plant this is so beautiful all of this is new growth with the exception of this leaf and the cool part about it you guys is this is the only leaf that's left from the propagation but if you look where all of this grew from the actual um, I guess the stem itself or the head of the leaf very beautiful so I'm just showing you guys this because when you followed me with that video you saw how all of my propagations was done it was a success now my maculata one is that's that was not the case um, if you remember I think I made a mention to you guys in one of my videos where my um, begonia let's see pull it up so I can show you where my begonia maculata had fell on the floor and one of the stems broke and I said okay this is just an opportunity for me to go ahead and propagate and it was a couple of stems or something like that a couple of, maybe a leaf and then a stem or something like that can't remember but um, I decided to do the same thing that I did with my Rex begonia one uh, with the leaves in regards to putting it into the soil and seeing if it would um, do new growth I did it and I want to show you guys the results it was a fail propagation and it's okay but I was gonna throw it away but I said let me show you guys you see this the soil and where you see all the black it just more or less um, rotted out completely and it it just didn't take and that's okay because you know like I said before with propagations some of them are successful and some are just not but the one that I did do, I put the stem in water. I did a water and perlite in the jar type of thing. And I saw this little jar, you guys, at the dollar store. And when I saw the cork on top, I ca it kind of reminded me of when you go to the store and you see those ones that's like in a cork-like glass um, growing type of situation I guess that could be what is that would that be considered like a semi hydroponics I'm not quite sure but anyway when I saw this um, little thing at the dollar store I just went on and brought it I, and I didn't think much of it but when the leaf broke I said ha huh, this is an opportunity to use this so I kind of like just opened up a hole right here and just put the leaf right into it I've been filling it up with water and this is all um, perlite right here and uh, I think it's been it's, it's been doing good because this leaf right here is a new baby leaf that just emerged um, not too long ago and as you can tell by the color being still light it's still a baby leaf so usually they say when you know your propagations are successful when you start seeing form a new growth and that's what I'm seeing here and this is pretty I like the way it looks in here um, I think I might just actually leave it in here and see what what takes off if by chance you know, I'm being optimistic here where it starts growing a little bit too funky and wild and eventually I would have to take it out of here. And, but yeah, I just, when I see that, when I notice that the water has went down some, I just pour a little bit of water in the hole right here and just keep it nice and hydrated. This is really cool because, you know, you really can... Um, and I have it sitting in here in my sunroom. You really can put this in the corner as long as it's getting that bright light. And you don't even have to worry about watering it. Just maintain the water level 
on here. And oh my goodness, I'm just noticing you guys looking at this. See, the begonia root system is very fine, and I don't think you're going to see it. But I'm just noticing a little bit, oh, little baby roots is growing into the perlite. It's like right here. You're going to see like some fine lines. I don't know if you're seeing it or not, but I can see it, and that is pretty cool. I'm liking this little cute vibe. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> These next ones, I got a few of them that I'm going to point out, and they're all Hoyas. I don't know, guys. Y'all let me know if y'all experience this with y'all Hoyas. Okay, so right now we're like in the uh, fall season, about to enter the winter season. I don't know, but what I've noticed, which I think is weird, I don't know. I, I really don't remember seeing this going on last year around this time. But my Hoyas are really pushing out growth um, around this time. And I am just loving it. I'm not complaining, but I don't know. Y'all let me know. Do y'all experience, if you have a fall season in your environment and you have Hoyas, do you notice that they are pushing out a little bit more extra growth to me? Is it because they know that it's almost time for them to go to sleep so they're getting pushing out all the energy that they have in them so that then they can collapse and go go to sleep or be rested or whatever the case is i don't know y'all let me know but having said that this right here is my begonia my begonia <laughs> i still got begonia in my mind my hoya macrophala or did they change the name is it lancifolia now i'm not sure i can't keep up with when they do change to botanical names but this one is a propagation of my mother plant and you guys i had this in the soil Oof. it's been over a year you guys and it was just this leaf right here this one right here and then this one so it was just three leaves and seriously guys it's just set like that for a whole year and then all of a sudden BAM it just started shooting out this tendril and just been growing so so far I've gotten this new leaf right here which is still hasn't really completely hardened off yet this one right here I have this new growth right here. You see these two little baby leaves growing right here. And then I just noticed today, which is also one of the reasons why it kind of inspired me to do this video. Look at that little baby leaf right here. Oh, can y'all see it? It's such a baby. You see that baby leaf? And I just thought that was cool. So, yeah, I just know that since it's doing all of that, it really is going to take off come next growing season. I'm excited about it. Um, my next Hoya is my Hoya Sunrise, you guys. If y'all followed me with my unboxing, you saw how small the specimen was. It's still in. I never changed it. I probably won't until if I do decide to do it, it'll be in next growing season. But look, it's like a two, is this like a two inch pot? But it only had just this one little trail and you guys it's just really been shooting out growth like these leaves right here are new leaves you could tell because they're a little bit more shinier than the other leaves and they're still soft um it's just shot out this leaf and then this whole vine literally you guys just came out of nowhere and it's just been pumping out these leaves and as you can see right here you see how the vines um split so i have one growing this way and one growing downwards and there's actually I don't even know if you can see it it's actually little baby leaves I'm just really surprised I mean it's it's beautiful so I'm really excited I'm anticipating the uh, next growing season because of course we buy the sunrise because of the sun beautiful sun stress that it's known for doing and um, I'm gonna try my best to give it a little bit more light to see if I can get that red hue um, for it to come on but right now it's it's kind of green I know I have to give it more light in order for it to be red um, of course the position of the Sun has changed now as we start approaching the winter so I won't be able to do that now and I'm not sure I don't think artificial lighting will actually give it what it needs I don't know should I 
Do I need to put it like directly underneath for grow light? I don't know. I don't want to take it out of this room though because it's just been doing so well. You know what? I'm not going to push the envelope. I'm just going to leave it be right now as we enter the dormancy period. But it's beautiful. Now my next last, I think my last Hoya update. You guys, this, this Hoya is growing wild, man. It's crazy. I, I love it though. Oh man. Let's see. This is my Hoya Fungi, the seedling. Guys. I had to wind up putting this on a ring trellis and I didn't do this that long ago putting on the, putting it on this trellis uh, I would say probably like a month ago maybe about like a month and a half I don't know but as you can see look at all the tendrils that has grown because when I wrapped it around I wrapped I made sure that I wrapped all the tendrils around it was nice and snug with these beautiful cute little um, clamps that I came across um, and anyway all these tendrils this one this one this one these tendrils is just growing out but look at check it out you guys you see them little baby leaves right here it is amazing and I even have little baby leaves you won't see it right here I don't think the camera will pick it up but right up in here oh dang <laughs> Well, it's one baby leaf left, you guys. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> that one just fell off. But look how it's growing. The tendrils is like... I have it sitting on um, one of my tabletops in here. And I have it this way. And I think it's getting confused as far as which way to go. Because I have a fancy light that's here that is doing very good lighting and then it has this natural lighting from the window so I'm having tendrils going this way and then I'm having some that's going that way but then they come back around so I think I may be confusing it a little bit but guys look at the leaves it's just growing and I mean I don't know if it's if it's if it's almost dormancy period or um, here's fall time I can't tell because it hasn't slowed in growth it's, it's almost like it's weird. It's like it picked up in growth, really, if you ask me. So, I can't complain. I love it. But, yeah. Now, my next update. You guys may have seen my Peperomia scandens that's growing so funky and wild in my uh, bedroom on my macrame hanger. And um, I made a mention how I think I was trying to take it out of that macrame. And you see how the leaves are just growing so wild. I mess around and I snap one of the stems and once again, haha, propagation opportunity, right? So I just stuck it, <laughs> I stuck it right into soil and when I did, it only literally just had one leaf, but I'm so glad it just pushed out all of this, you guys. And if you like, anybody that loves peperomias, you know, they are very beautiful, classical plants where we're not really talking that much about them unless it's the what the watermelon peperomia something in those lines but i don't even know if people are talking about the scandas but i just love the scandas it's such a beautiful plant look at the foliage you guys all of this is new growth right here and of course you could tell that because the how dark the leaves is and i think over time the leaves start getting a little bit lighter but i don't know maybe this one is just this is the original leaf and it just shot out all of this and then I have this that just came out of the soil so that's cute so now I'm gonna have another one and look how it's just because I have it sitting in my dining room you guys like on a shelving unit and it's just straight going for the artificial lighting that I've been giving it so I don't know I like the way that it's reaching out I just I don't know it's just so wild if you want something that's gonna give you that jungle vibe that you're actually looking for this is definitely the plant to go get in my personal opinion just sharing that with you now another plant you guys I had a Monstera Silta Bacana that was growing beautifully in here it was full and completely lush and I had it in here but last year around the winter time um, and I did a vlog on it too if y'all didn't get a chance to see it, it's like one of my earlier videos where a lot of people probably, I wasn't able to pull a lot of people at the time. So I'm not quite sure. If y'all can go through my um, channel, you'll actually see some of the beginning um, videos that I have that I think is very informative. But anyway, I did a vlog where I was having some issues with maintaining heat in here and the... Um, magically the heat that I had installed in here just wasn't strong enough 
and also too I think I had to actually like do a little bit more insulation in here but now I got it where I believe the room should be but unfortunately my Silta Bacana like took a hit hard it took like it was like a cold shock damage and all my lush beautifulness just completely withered away and died and I think I was able to salvage maybe literally like one or two leaves of that um and so yeah so this is what I have left of it but this is for the most part I want to say new growth I'm not complaining you guys I love the Silta Pecana because of I'm a sucker for not only red backs but vein nations and leaves it's so beautiful you know if it stayed as this small specimen I would be um, I would not be disappointed at all it has really starting to grow and I got a like a new leaf right here that's unfurling now and it's sitting on my um, table my little plant stand table that I have in my dining room area where it's getting uh, the majority of the growth is definitely coming from my sansy light the artificial lighting and I have it in this cute little pot it's just it's so beautiful I'm just so glad that I was able to propagate something and and now it's starting to turn into something I'm very appreciative of that let's see this one right here you guys I had to share this with you because I don't know what's going to come up I don't know what's going to become of this plant it's like up and down with this plant night and day with this plant and I'm feeling a little optimistic this is one of the plants that I shared with you guys through my Equigenera update the ones that was not doing great and one of them is my anthurium um what is it umbricola umbricola and now we're down we're down to one leaf and i was a little uh, you know at, at, the, at this point i was like you know what I, it's gonna be what it's gonna be you know i wasn't stressing myself out about the plant no, I was leaving, losing one leaf after another, and this is the last leaf, you guys. But I felt a little bit boost of energy, a boost of optimism when I looked inside. And now, mind you, this is in um, semi hydroponics. I have the Leca with the um, right now. I have it in just plain water. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna leave it like that until next growing season if this plant survives the winter. Keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. I. I'm being optimistic enough where I will imagine new growth with this plant but I want to show you guys something look guys I saw these three little baby leaves pop out through the leka I was like oh, there's hope after all there's hope after all you know you look at these leaves right they baby leaves but when I saw me guys you would have thought I hit the lottery I was so excited I said oh my goodness I said you do want to live and I don't know I was just so super excited about it I said I gotta share this with y'all because if y'all saw how y'all know y'all saw what was going on with this plant but it's trying to come back and I can't complain I'm not changing anything about this plant I have it sitting on uh, my table right below um, the Sansy light and I don't know if it's the Sansy Light that's doing it. I have no idea. But my God, I tell you, I'm not going to take it out of this room or its environment. I'm not changing it at all. Just making sure that the Leca pebbles are staying hydrated at least half. And at least I can see what's going on with it right here. I can't complain. I'm really excited. I hope. Because this is like really, this was like one of the plants that I really wanted really badly out of my collection. I'm hoping that it can turn out. We'll see, you know. I'll keep you guys updated one way or another, whether it goes down south or it goes up. Yay! <laughs> I'll let y'all know what the outcome of this is. Now, speaking of propagations that were successful, you guys, you may be sick and tired of me showing you this plant, but. I just can't let this plant go because the growth pattern on this plant I'm loving it so much I, I, it's, it's my ooh, almost dropped it y'all it's my um, philodendron silver sword you guys 
This is the propagation I had in the hydroponics. I showed you guys the crazy root. Look at that. You see that crazy root system that's going on right here? Oh my goodness. It is loving life in this thing. And I mean, I am loving, like, I chopped the mother plant that I had in here. And the leaves actually, the the leaves that I left on the plant, you guys, it was so big. It was taking up space. So I moved it out of here. And I don't know if that's the reason why it's not giving me as much growth as I had anticipated when I chopped it. I don't know. My goal was to, um, because as it was growing more and more, I noticed the leaves were getting smaller and smaller. And my, my goal was when I chopped it was to promote it or go back to the plant producing larger leaves. And it did not do that. It actually gave me, it's giving me right now currently smaller leaves than um, this plant right here. And it's not really giving me no growth. Um, but this right here, like I said, this was actually just three leaves, you guys. One of the oldest leaves um, died off. The two, the two leaves that was originally that's still hanging in is this one, and then this leaf right here. Every leaf you see outside of these two is nothing but new growth, as well as new shoots, you guys. Three new shoots has grown from here and I mean guys it is oh my gosh like it is gorgeous look at that oh my gosh it is gorgeous and the cool part about uh, silver sword too I think they're becoming more readily available now and from what I can see I believe the price of it is coming down too but I, I think the one that I got the mother plant I got it at a steal it was like un, it was definitely under 60 bucks for the leaf size you just couldn't beat it so but also I like I said I got two actually two whole new plants and you know what I wasn't going to show you um, the other one you guys but I'm showing I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all because that one is also doing growth this is the one I just wanted to do some comparison you know hydroponics versus soil and all that and both of them are doing well the other one is actually behind me sitting on the table all right there it is now this one only had two leaves and as you can see look at that and this is in like one of them clear planters and I'm starting to see there's some roots that's forming right here pretty cool right and you see this leaf is starting to um, come out now and it's so cool because I'm seeing like it's so thick so I'm really hoping that this one, so even if the mother plant in my dining room do, you know, I hope it doesn't, but if it does, the good part about propagating is you have some form of plant insurance and I have it um, and I'm feeling real confident with these two um, in the sunroom and in the two different environments. This is the beautiful soil mixture and the um, semi hydroponics, but guys, dang. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? Alright, now. You know what? I'm not gonna I'm gonna mess around and pull a muscle trying to <laughs> put this back. I'll do that after the video. Okay. Now how many Okay, we're almost towards the end. We've got like like four more plants. This one, I'm showing you guys this plant because at first I was falling out of love with it because it was starting to look real scraggly looking and now I'm starting to fall back in love with it. I don't know, I'm having like um, this up and down love relationship with this plant. And that would be the string, my string of hearts. Okay, now if y'all saw my sun room tour when I showed you guys this plant, I was letting you know how I was going to cut it off because it was looking real scraggly looking and not looking as full and as beautiful as it did. So I did chop some of the vines off. I didn't even work. I didn't even, I didn't even want to propagate it. I just chopped it off where it was like had no leaves left. And then I took some of the vines and I wrapped it because what I did notice that 
um, they had the little tubers was starting to form on there. So I kind of like was wrapping it around in the soil and I put the tubers in the dirt. And I believe one of you guys, and I want to thank you for this. Um, you know who you are, but one of you made a mention on comment saying that, you know, the conception or the representation of this plant we have is slightly misconstrued. And that was just the fact of letting it completely dry out. And they were saying, you know, if you give the plant more water, it will grow a little bit more. This, this plant, and I tried that theory and they were actually right. So what I am learning is this plant needs a little bit more water than I thought. So I let it dry out, but I don't let it completely dry out. And now since I've been doing that, it's been, I don't know if you can see, but it's been, it's bald up at the top a little bit, but it has been growing. And guys, look at that. It's now giving me more plumper, beautiful leaves that I've always loved the string of hearts for. Um, it's not looking dead and scraggly looking and tiresome. Oh, I want to show you guys this. See that? I don't even know. Can y'all see that? That is the tubers that I'm talking about if you guys are not familiar with that. So it was growing and a lot of strings had these tubers and I put them back I wrapped the vine back into the soil and I tried my best to either, if not push the tuber itself in the soil, I more or less laid it on the soil. And I think what's going on is I'm, I am having these new baby shoots just coming out of it. And now I am starting to fall back in love with this plant. So now that I know that not to let this plant completely dry out, you know, it does grow like a weed. It can grow on for days. Um, but I think, you know, for this plant, for me to maintain how I feel about it, um, I'm just going to keep, I think, pruning this plant too also helps promote growth. And I think that I'll be able to, you know, maybe I'll just cut a couple of stems and just throw it back on the top and just see where it goes but I'm really loving it right now and oh, beautiful update now I'm about to show you a picture of um, what is this my Calathea orbifolia this is the first one that I brought now I showed you guys I think a second one that I brought that's much fuller and lusher and I have it sitting in here and I brought that one because the first one that I was buying that I brought was a much smaller specimen but it was kind of like declining and I think I finally figured out what I need to do with this plant and that's basically I have to be on top of my lighting as well as watering I cannot let this plant um, dry out and since I've changed my mindset a little bit when it comes to that um, it's been rewarding me with growth. Guys, I got down to like just one leaf and then this burnt leaf right here. It was so crispy at the edges and this is all that I have left of that leaf. And then it was just literally just this leaf. And I kept just maintaining the moisture on here. And this is one of the plants that I have sitting underneath of my one of my Sansi lights um, in my living room. And it gave me this beautiful new leaf all of a sudden and it's giving me this beautiful shoot right here so I'm hopeful that this plant will be um, in a full a full fuller pot um, so yeah I'm, I'm really excited about it um, this plant is beautiful though it's undeniably gorgeous um, and I'm understanding a little bit better the uh, I'd say the watering concept for this particular plant and it's, it's rewarding me with the growth because I am understanding it and I couldn't be prouder okay now you guys I just noticed this and I was like wow um, I'm about to show you my platinum mist peace lily that I have growing in my bedroom now before I show you guys this I had this at right up against my window and it was becoming a little bit too wide and too big till I moved it. I moved it. It's still in my bedroom but I moved it a little bit further away from the window. 
and you know this one was like the first one that actually gave me a bloom um and i was surprised you know so i was and, and super excited because you know it's mixed reviews on peace lily blooms as far as people being able to do it in their home some people say it's almost impossible some people say they get them all the time um, I get my, my blooms come sparingly and when they do come I am very appreciative although I am a sucker for the foliage first so let me show you guys this I was like oh my goodness look at this beautiful platinum mist guys it is it's wild right I love it because of the leaves the leaves got that beautiful silver subtle silver like sprinkle paint but what I noticed, you guys, and even though it's not up at the window, and even though we're about to enter the winter time, I was surprised, you guys. I see an actual bloom trying to come out. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? This right here. That white. There's a bloom that's actually coming out. And I was like, wow, this, this late in the game. I couldn't believe it. Like, what? So y'all let me know, is that common with you guys that own peace lilies? Like, okay, we're about to approach the winter season. Do you still get blooms? Is that like a common thing? I don't know. I celebrate the small things that happens to me in my life. So I am really happy about this bloom. It just looks so pretty. I can't wait for it to actually come out and it's just going to be like, hey, give peace a chance. So it's so beautiful, you guys. Look. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> last plant. I'm just showing you this because I was super soaked, super excited about it. Um, yeah, let me just jump right into it, guys. No long story. This is my um, Pink Princess Philodendron. And I'm going to have to get a. I have one. I just didn't put it being lazy, I guess. My an extension trellis. Um, I had this sitting. If you notice, when I took my maculata down, I moved this and put it right here. But then I started thinking, okay, this thing is getting a little top heavy too. I did not want the same thing to have that happen with the maculata to happen with this one. I didn't want it to top over and fell fall so. I just instantly just replaced it and now I have this sitting on the floor in here where it's still getting light from my Sansy light. And okay, now, you know, Pink Princesses, you know, they are so, very subtle in their variegation, um, as you guys can see here. I just only have this leaf that has pink. It's like a little subtleness right here. Um, I guess this was trying to be pink. I really don't know or any of that. It's just I don't know and they kept you know, but I still love whether it gives me pink or not I still love the plant because I'm just loving the, the dark red the, the redness and the darkness of this color remind me of the what's that black cardinal one um, But you know if I can get a little bit more pink, I, you know, I would be excited. It's not like it's not a must thing to have. I mean, that's the reason why we all brought it for the pink variegation. So, um, but I was super excited. This last leaf, you guys, do y'all see it? Do y'all see it? The little subtleness of the pink. I was super excited when I saw that. I don't know if that means that moving forward that I'm gonna see some um, pink variegation and the other leaves. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I still love the plant. It's still a beautiful plant. Um, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Comment below. Let me know if y'all been having the same issues. I was thinking about chopping it back. I may just do that when the growing season comes. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, segment of the updates that I had in my plant collection. Um, let me know exactly how your plants in your area is doing in your collection and any new growth updates, any challenges that you guys had. I'm interested in knowing. And um, that's pretty much it, you guys. So keep in mind, if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things, subscribe to this channel. Give me a big thumbs up, please. Or you can give me a thumbs down. Any way you want to vote is up to you. Enjoy your day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, guys, much love.
Bye.